Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Essential Tremor Virtual Education Forum. My name is Patrick McCartney. I'm the Executive Director of the International Essential Tremor Foundation. Today, we're going to be hearing from Kate Rosenblue, who will be discussing TAPS therapy and Cala Health's new kick system for ET treatment. Before we get started, I want to thank our corporate partners, Medtronic, Insitec, Sage Therapeutics, Jazz Pharmaceuticals, Cala Health, Boston Scientific, Praxis Precision Medicines, and Alevion. All these folks, their support allows us to provide these webinars, our podcast series, and our in-person ET education forums, which we're trying to start back up. Um, at the end of the presentation, in Kate's, uh, we're going to stop recording and allow uh, all of our folks joining us today if they have any questions uh, to ask Kate any questions they might have about her presentation. Uh, you can either do it through the chat uh, function on the screen, or since we're not going to be recording, if you want to just uh, unmute yourself and ask, Kate will be more than happy to answer your questions. So let me introduce our speaker today. Kate uh, Rosenbluth is the founder member and a member of the board of directors and chief scientific officer uh, at Cala Health. She has previously served as uh, chief executive officer and raised three rounds of financing, totaling over $80 million. She's an engineer and a neuroscientist who previously worked on cutting edge neurotherapies at Stanford Biodesign, UCSF Neurosurgery, Brain Lab, Autonom Autonomic Technologies, and Genetech. So Kate, Welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing my screen, let you do yours, and uh, let you take over. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, first of all, for the kind invitation to join you today. And even more so, I just say, you know, thank you, uh, Patrick, and the whole team uh, at the IETF for everything you do um, for the ET community at large, you know, what it provides for uh, innovators like us at, at, at Cala. Um, we just really couldn't be more thankful uh, for everything you do there. So just wanted to say that to kick us off. Um, so today we're going to talk about uh, electricity as medicine. Um, as Patrick mentioned, uh, my background is in neuroscience and engineering, and I am the inventor of the therapy that you can see uh, the woman here wearing on her wrist. This is a prescription therapy uh, to treat her severe hand tremors. So just by way of background, about eight years ago, I founded Cala Health, and it was to bring this therapy and others like it uh, to patients. So women like uh, you see here can do tasks like make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich uh, with her granddaughter. I really believe essential tremor, um, which we're obviously all very familiar here with uh, today, as well as many other neurologic disorders can actually be treated by measuring each patient's neural signature and then develop, delivering the precise pulse pattern to counteract that signature. So it's now four years uh, since this therapy came to market in the US. And today what I'll be walking through is some of the latest clinical evidence supporting this therapy, um, as well as our uh, next generation device that we just launched earlier this year. Um, Patrick and I last reconnected at the American Academy of Neurology where I presented uh, some of this content and then we thought it would be a great opportunity to share this with the ITF membership uh, as well. And then afterwards we will take any questions on that. So as you are very well aware from uh, your experience, experience of family members, um, even just in the US, there are millions of patients who struggle with postural and kinetic action tremors. Um, well, most of these patients have essential tremor and that's what I'll be focusing on today. Uh, many others, as you know, also have action tremors from Parkinson's disease or other causes, and that these are especially impactful on patients' lives because they onset exactly when patients need hand control for everything from eating, uh, drinking, uh, writing, uh, and self-care. So let's talk about TAPS. So TAPS is transcutaneous, meaning it's stimulation across the skin. It's afferent, which means that while stimulation is at the wrist, the site of action of the, is actually at the tremors control center, which is in the brain. It's patterned stimulation, meaning it's individually calibrated, um, and it's stimulation. It's what we think of as it's electricity uh, as medicine. So I thought it might be helpful here just to give you a brief uh, history um, of Kala and of TAPS therapy. It was around 2007 um, that I be began to believe that peripheral stimulation, such as you see here at the wrist, uh, where the median and radial nerves uh, pass close to the surface of the skin near the carpal tunnel, 
um, that I started to believe peripheral stimulation could actually target conditions that were typically treated with deep brain stimulation. At the time, I was working at neurosurgery uh, um, at UCSF in deep brain stimulation and working also on gene therapy for Parkinson's disease uh, and studying the peripheral nervous system as well. So a few years later, I returned back to Stanford and in 2015 spun out Cala Health. As you can see here, uh, in 2018, the first TAPS therapy was cleared by the FDA, by the Food and Drug Administration, and it was cleared under the de novo pathway, which recognizes its novelty and its lack of uh, predicate of a similar device. In 2019, the first TAPS therapy, the Calatrio device that you can see here on the left, was launched. And in 2021, uh, Medicare recognized TAPS uh, with unique codes for reimbursement. So moving on here to the next slide, um, the therapy has been recognized uh, with numerous awards for both its innovation, as well as most importantly, the positive impact that it's having on patients' lives, um, including an Edison Award uh, as, and as a pre gallien winner. So what I want to do here um, was to actually show a video, um, and hopefully the video will play. I will just uh, annotate on top of the video to review how TAPS therapy works. So tremor um, is caused by a loss of neuronal connections that lead to oscillations in the neural circuitry, specifically in a circuit called the cerebellothalamocortical circuitry. So how Cala's device works, as you can see here, first it measures the unique tremor signature of each patient and characterizes each patient's oscillations to identify the unique biologic signal to disrupt them. Next, the device delivers out of phase electrical impulses through the median and radial nerve to the ventral intermediate nucleus of the thalamus, the same target as uh, surgically implanted deep brain stimulation. This dephases the neurons responsible for the misfiring and therapy is used on demand, as you can see here, uh, meeting patients' needs when and where they need it most. So each session lasts 40 minutes while most patients report relief for more than an hour afterwards. Here's some of the literature, I'll touch on this in a moment. And I'd also note here that a single charge uh, overnight can last up to five stimulations uh, throughout the day. So the goal here is really to give patients control to do what matters in their daily life without the side effects of uh, medications or surgery. So TAPS offers a uh, meaningful tremor relief as seen here in an Archimedes spiral drawn before and after therapy. As you can imagine, recovering this level of motor control has enormous impact uh, across many tasks that patients need to do each day, like eating, drinking, writing. So uh, before diving into some of the clinical evidence, I thought that it'd be helpful to hear from an actual TAPS patient, uh, the same woman highlighted on the first slide who was making that peanut butter and jam sandwich. So hopefully we'll be able to hear uh, this audio. Ala Trio has changed my life and it even brings tears to my eyes. It has made such a difference in my life. Being able to read without the book shaking all over the place, um, feeling more secure cooking using a knife. One of the best parts is being able to eat and drink without having uh, a tsunami in my cup and not having food fall off my fork. It's just so nice to be able to go about my normal business knowing that I'm not going to be trembling the way that I had prior. It's an amazing, amazing medical device. I want to spread the word because it is so effective. My prayer is that many people will come to know about Cala and Cala Trio. Isn't that just so powerful? I, I just love love hearing this, and it goes without saying that we're all here working on this uh, every day to you know be able to serve uh, to serve you to serve patients. Uh, and it's really, you know, these stories that uh, keep us going on our hard work every day. So what I wanted to go to next here is just to review some of the um, published literature on TAPS. Over a thousand patients have now participated in these studies. Uh, more publications should be coming out soon. I'll note a few of those as well. 
As we'll note on the next slides, uh, these studies include both three randomized clinical trials, three longitudinal studies, as well as studies on mechanism of action and importantly on health economics for building uh, greater access to therapy. So just as a brief uh, overview of these, um, there's three randomized clinical trials. These studies have shown meaningful tremor relief and improvement in activities of daily living. The first two studies noted here were randomized to sham and demonstrated superiority of TAPS to sham. On the right-hand side, you can see the results of the multi-center RCT. This was also the study that supported the de novo clearance from the FDA. The study evaluated gold standard scales, including physician ratings of Tetris, the essential tremor rating and assessment scale established by the Tremor Research Group, as well as activities of daily living scale established by Bain and Finley. The third RCT is a randomization to standard of care. Um, Calla was approached by the CVS clinical trials team in Aetna during COVID-19 as they were looking for a partner to conduct a clinical study uh, with that involved delivering care to patients at home. The focus was really to test new solutions uh, to ET to improve patient outcomes while also reducing healthcare costs. Um, the study has now met its co-primary endpoints. Um, this was presented uh, at, uh, at conferences earlier in the year, um, and we're really thrilled to be uh, sharing these outcomes. Uh, the study is also ongoing uh, for 12-month endpoints that we'll report out next year. Um, moving on to the longitudinal studies, uh, these studies show continued safety and efficacy with uh, no significant ha habituation. The data on the right-hand side comes from the first of these studies, which is PROSPECT. This is a uh, prospective, uh, this is a prospective study uh, in essential tremor. And in this study by Dr. Stuart Isaacson et al., uh, 263 patients were seen at 26 sites. They used TAPS twice daily for three months. Nine out of 10 patients experienced tremor improvement. 68% of patients improved from moderate or severe to mild or better. And most patients reported persistent tremor relief that averaged 94 minutes after the 40 minute stimulation session. TAPS evidence has also shown previously that most patients experience relief during stimulation, which makes for about one to two hours of relief per use. The second study uh, here is a publication of real world evidence by Salima Brillman et al. This was a study of 321 patients using therapy between 90 days and uh, 18 months. Um, I'm also uh, uh, pleased to share, we just had accepted uh, another real world evidence study um, that extends this real world evidence out beyond 1300 patients and three years. Additionally, uh, as I mentioned on the last slide, the CVS Health Aetna study uh, is fully enrolled and the patients in the standard of care arm have now rolled into treatment arm for uh, the 12 month endpoints. Um, all subjects continue to measure their tremor power uh, and use the same objective endpoints established in prospect in the RWE. And that study will report out next year. So perhaps we will be able to come back and share out those uh, next results. So what we want to do here on the next slide um, is turn to a bit of a different uh, uh, perspective on TAPS. And this is a physician's perspective from Dr. Praveen Kamani, a uh, leading movement disorder neurologist at Swedish Hospital. I've been utilizing Calitaps therapy in my movement disorders clinical practice for the past two years, and I've prescribed TAPS to over hundred of my tremor patients. This therapy has been effective in treating my patients with essential tremor, and I've seen good success with TAPS in my clinical practice. Galataps therapy is validated by large clinical studies and real-world evidence demonstrating clinically meaningful tremor reduction and improvement in activities of daily living. Every patient's tremor is unique. The Calitaps device measures each patient's unique tremor physiology and individualizes a stimulation pattern for tremor relief. In my clinical practice, I utilize Calitaps therapy for patients with hand tremor as an add-on or follow-up to first-line pharmacological therapy. It can also be used. Sorry, but the sound just went away. Treatment gap between pharmacological and invasive treatments for patients with essential tremor. I hope you can utilize Calitaps in your clinic as well to treat essential tremor effectively. Thank you. Yeah. 
Thanks for letting me know about the sound. Apologies. I think that when I uh, paused my microphone, it might have paused your sound as well. Um, well, many thanks for uh, Dr. Kamani for uh, sharing uh, his perspective. And what I wanted to put in here uh, next was to uh, give you an introduction to Kala's latest product. So this is uh, Kala. This is Kala Kick. Um, the name Kick is a nod both to kinetics, as it both measures and treats movements, as well as to IQ, uh, referencing the smarts inside it. So Kick is clinically validated. It's easy to use uh, and manage, and it is individualized to each patient's tremor. The other piece uh, that we wanted to note here is that uh, kick also carries an indication to treat action tremor in uh, patients with Parkinson's disease. Uh, this, the data supporting uh, this uh, expansion was also just uh, recently published. Uh, it was presented at uh, AAN last year uh, and is available as well. Um, so, and I would note there that the reimbursement coverage for Parkinson's, of course, will be behind essential tremor, um, which has been on market uh, longer, but the team is hard at work as we recognize that many patients with Parkinson's disease also experience essential tremor or experience the um, kinetic and action tremor similar to uh, essential tremor patients. So just a few pieces to highlight. We are quite excited about this new uh, product. Um, this device has a slimmer and more watch-like look and feel. Uh, the importance here is really to give people discretion as they go about their daily lives. It has a new electrode configuration um, an easy to read screen, a new band design for easy cleaning, while continuing with a lot of the uh, features that were most appreciated in the previous design, uh, including the magnetic seating of the charging base station, which makes it very easy if your hands are shaking to put it in the base station for charging. And it still has power for up to five daily sessions, despite the device's considerably smaller size. A couple other uh, areas that we wanted to highlight um, on the mycala.com portal, uh, patients are empowered with data, insights, and ongoing support to manage their therapy. Um, patients can also share uh, their results uh, with their physician, see those results, receive encouragement based on the objective motion capture. Um, this includes both objective and patient-reported tremor improvement by session as measured on board uh, the device itself. Finally, and importantly, um, we felt it was important to give patients access to support, including to view instructional videos uh, and get help uh, when and where patients need it. Just the last piece here um, that I wanted to note as well, this is a prescription form. Um, from a patient's perspective, uh, the, the, physi the physician sends in the prescription uh, directly to CALA. Um, this will include the information that we need, uh, such as the patient's wrist size, uh, to then provide the device, which we actually ship uh, by home to uh, patients' houses. As I noted, you know, when we were getting started was actually during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And that was one of the things that really led us to build up a sort of very direct model to being able to serve patients when and where uh, they need it. And we have carried that forward uh, ever since. So here are our indications, uh, contra our indications, contraindications and warning. Uh, and thanks for listening. And I look forward to taking your questions. Greg, Kate, thank you uh, very much. Uh, taking the time to speak with us today, share some great information on TAPS therapy and your new PIC system. Uh, we hope you guys found this presentation helpful. Hope you learned something new today. Um, if you have any questions regarding Essential Trimmer, we encourage you to visit the IETF website at essentialtremor.org, or you can call us toll free at 888-387-3667. And finally, if you're a donor to the IETF, we thank you for your support. And if you are not, we hope you consider a donation in the future to help us to continue to provide uh, webinars and educational events like this, continue promoting ET awareness, support, and research. Uh, we will be hosting a variety of events like uh, educational events in the upcoming months. So look into uh, your notices that come through Tremorgram or Tremor Talk or our social, our social media. And want to thank everyone again for joining us today. And we're going to stop right here. I'm going to stop recording. So if anybody has any questions for Kate, we can do that. So Kate, thank you for joining us too. Thank you for taking the time. Absolutely. Thanks so much.